Melania is the hardest boss in Elden Ring, and today we're gonna try to kill every Remembrance boss in the game while she is hunting me. Shadow of the Erd Tree is just around the corner, and it's high time for Souls fans to re-get good at the game. The Souls series is known for being challenging, and everyone deals with the heat a little differently. Some people uninstall after dying to Margit, other people kill Fire Giant with their bare hands instead of seeking therapy. I myself like to think I'm pretty decent at the game, so I decided in preparation for the DLC, I'll replay the game, but with a twist. An unscaled Melania will spawn into my game and hunt me if two conditions are met. The first being a heart rate spawner. My heart rate rests roughly at 75. As a veteran of the game who totally knows how to keep it cool and not rage, no, stop! I set the spawner threshold at 90. If this works properly, let me just go do like a couple jumping jacks. Most people would stop here and say, that's a quirky fun run. Now dance monkey dance, Mr. Content Creator. Not me. I'm John fucking Elden Ring, damn it. I can do better. I am him. Which leads us to our second condition, a swear word spawner. I cuss like a sailor and I need to get better about that. <laughs> To make this even harder, I made it so I can't even say cuss words that can be found inside other words. Assumption. Given that I read Twitch chat messages the same way Ron Burgundy reads a teleprompter, I would soon come to learn this would be a wet dream for chat and a nightmare for me. What's the assignment here? Well, okay, I, I mean, it's in the title, right? It's a, like, if I say... Oh, 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 ass, ass assignment. Oh, fuck you. Touche. Well, well played. I'll give you that one. Well played. The goal is simple. Kill every remembrance boss in the game. And I have one rule. If Melania spawns, I cannot progress until one of us is dead. Let's do it. This is a challenge run. As the name would suggest, it should be challenging. What I didn't foresee with this run is that every little mundane task would become a challenge. Let's take walking to Church of Ella from First Step. Pretty easy, right? Uh, what? What, are you kidding me? Son of a bitch. This is, I can't even make it to Church of Ella, dude. Oh my God, we're over 90 again. What the fuck? Okay, no, no. Mm. Okay, I cussed, I cussed. Okay, okay, I'm just, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get the, I'm gonna get the bonfire. Dude, this is rough. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we did it. We did it, boys. We made it. Some Zen okay. montage. Empty your mind. I know. Think of nothing but fine dining and breathing. Fine dining and breathing. Well, we have not spawned Melania since Church of Ella, which is pretty good. See, that's why I said 90's fine. Like, I, I, I'm good with 90. You idiot. To complete this run, I am going to need runes and important items. Let's start with runes. To give yourself a nice stat boost, players will go to Kaelid to run the Knight Rider off the cliff and bleed Grail to death. Along the way, you get two important items, the Wondrous Physic Flask and Radagon's Sword Seal. At this point, we're still in the prepping phase. Shouldn't be too much of an issue, right? Fuck. I, 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 I see this is another, no! What weapon class are you thinking for this run? Um. I would say, oh, you said clap. Oh, you. Hello, new to stream. Have you heard the song Super Massive Black Hole? Uh, yeah. Do you like my bit? This one's the, uh, th this one's the, uh, um, uh, assassin. What boss are you looking most forward to in this run? Son of a Do you bitch. think you'll need 99 vigor? Alcohol consumption increases heart rate, by the way. Oh, does it? Oh, shit. I didn't know that. Oh, frick. Okay. All right, we're going to be here for a second. So everyone, go get your favorite snack. Get get a little stretch in. We're going to be here for like a quick second. Actually, it's going by pretty okay. Fun fact, the dragon used to be a really large asset uh, before they changed it into an enemy. Really? Like, like it was just like a big bit. No, Clay! No! No, Clay! No! What? Now the... No! God. I, I could still do it. I killed it. Yes! Yes! 
No! 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 The last two pit stops on our errand list before embarking on beating the game is grabbing Bloodhound Fang, which we will use for the entire playthrough, and talking to Patches. Access to his fan daggers could be really nice for poise chipping bosses throughout this run. Melania had other plans. I'll spare him, because I actually won his shit. No! <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> With everything in hand, it is time to face the first boss that functions as a panic roll checker. I don't really know what to think of it, but sure. Fuck it. Damn it! Alright. Alright, fair enough. Oh. No! Dang it! Alright. Alright. Well played! Well played! Well played! What was it? Now it's time for our first Remembrance boss, Godric. My goal in this run is to beat every Remembrance boss in the game, so my time fighting him should set the tone for the rest of the run. Let's, let's be honest, most people would, would probably want to have that. If I could have 10 arms, I'd probably take 10 arms. I'd do a lot of things with 10 arms. All right, GG. Turns out Godric is just how I remembered him. Three. Next up, Renala. To make it into Rhea Lucaria, you need to grab the Glenstone key. Now, I learned my lesson at this point to not curse and to practice fine dining and breathing to keep my heart rate low. Should be a piece of cake to avoid Melania at this point. Every content creator wants to be able to make money from their passion, so yes. Passion, passion. this game and there's a snow steel and he killed the little bro <laughs> assassinated that i cannot believe it i cannot i cannot believe it I forgot to mention, I also made it so anyone who gifts a sub also spawns Melania. Our one and only hurdle to Renala is the Red Wolf. Well, that and the hordes of Melania's trying to kill me. Red Wolf would also turn out to be exactly as I remembered him. I'm just too good. What can I say? I am him. Renala time. They all do like fucking... I hate my life. She doesn't see me yet. Cause I haven't moved. Maybe they're like a T-Rex where if you just do slow and you don't... Nope, 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 okay. All right. Wait, I, I triggered it. Is she in here with me? She's in the back of the room. Okay, if I stay at the front of the room... Actually, I wonder if she'll go in with me to... Uh... I wonder if she'll go in with me to phase two. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Stay away from me, lady. Stay away. Fall quicker, please. Wait. Yeah! Yeah! Kick her out! Wait! No! Oh. <laughs> right. Chat, turns out Bloodhound Fang's really good. Who would have thought? Now I have two Remembrance bosses effortlessly down. I was feeling great. I still got it. I am the chosen one, damn it. Up the lift and on our way to Altus Plateau, where Melania noticed that I was riding a kind of high and uh, decided she hasn't seen enough of me. I'm so bad. All right, to the left. Oh, oh I thought I had the spacing down. What I would later find out is that making it into Lanedale Capital would prove to be one of the hardest challenges in this run. No, 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 no. Oh! 
Okay. Down, 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 down. Have I beaten her yet? Yes. Yes, I will. Okay, I'm getting shot right now. This sucks. Gotta spawn another for Enda? Oh my. Enda, thank you for. Okay, I I want I, I, I wanna try I wanna try my This is dude, I'm so stressed. Okay. I can do this. I will sail away. Why? Why was there a third one? This is how we can all collectively be better, okay? We can all uninstall Elden Ring and then. We can move on to brighter pastures, like Fortnite, or we could do Minecraft. That seems pretty big these days. We can evolve. We can progress past, past this this game that is just it just masochism incarnate. We could be better. Mass at oh god, what? No, 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 no. I, I have to fight her. I, I I why did I give myself this role, brother? All right, you know what? You know what? All right. <laughs> gotcha, gotcha. I hate my life. This is suffering. This is, it hit me on the ground. He's gonna wake up. These every this whole game, this whole game. Can, I, can we stop? All right, there we go. That's what I needed. And then I go right here. And I can't hit. Me. Just kidding. I lied. I went a little too far. I went a little too far because I'm goofy like that. Yep. All right. We use the torrent. <laughs> Favorite bassist? I'm fine. Um, bass. God. <laughs> Just kill me. Just kill me because I deserve that one. Just kill me. <laughs> How many millennias was it between last bonfire and this bonfire? Oh, I dodged way too early. What? Why? 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 Oh my god! Oh my god! I'm so close. On top of this, three experienced challenge runners, whom I've recently gotten to know, decided to all pop into my stream at the same time, and effectively assert their dominance by being quirky. Okay, is Catalyst Puppery and Zoodle being here like the four horsemen of, of, of the apocalypse? Because I swear, my life has gotten aggressively harder since you guys have showed up. Did you call me fat? <laughs> no, no, it's not you, it's me. <laughs> Lore time. I had the bright idea of using my heart rate monitor in the past as a pseudo lie detector test, and this was the result of trying that for 10 seconds. <laughs> Do you enjoy watching animated adult films? That's fucking crazy as a first thing to ask. <laughs> no. Oh, that- Oh, fuck yo! Oh, fuck you! Oh my god! <laughs> That's not- That was the response to the question! Not- Not that I feel- Oh, dude, this is- <laughs> I don't- <laughs> <laughs> Look, I know <laughs> I know it looks bad. I know it looks bad, <laughs> but I swear to god. <laughs> As if You can't ask that question. You cannot ask that question. I I there's nothing going on. No, no, stop, stop, stop! Come on! I don't do it! It's not a lie detector test! It is not a lie detector test! God! Fuck this game and fuck this whole challenge! Emotions were a bit high, but I still decided to kill Margit Projection to show off to them my sick PvE skills. I think I can talk normally. The fact that I have been genuinely whispering And thus, the window to impress had shut.
Next hurdle in this run, Draconic Tree Sentinel. I remember this guy giving me a hard time on my first couple playthroughs. Let's see how he fares now that my spirits have been effectively broken. Two and possibly even. Ooh. Yeah. Attacks. Still tough. And the damage I was doing with my plus four Bloodhound Fang just wasn't cutting it. So I had to go grab a plus five and six Somberstone. Can't be too bad to fetch a couple items. I've learned my lesson by this point. Why? 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 Chat, should we play King of the Hill? If, like, if she if she jumps off the edge, then I win. Get down there. Get down there. Get down there. <laughs> get down there. Get down there. <laughs> yes! Yes! <laughs> oh, God, my fuck. No, another one spawned because of the heart rate. No! Oh! oh, oh shoot, no. No, 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 God! You cruel, cruel demon witch. I hate you so much. With a sharper bloodhound fang in my hands, I was able to knock down the stone wall that is Draconic Tree Sentinel. And now, it's Lanedale time. Next boss on the remembrance list is Morgoth. In front of him, a wimpy ass piss ghost I made short work of. But now the true test, Morgoth. He was more difficult than I remember him being. Okay. All right, all right, chill dog, chill. Melania decided it would be a duo boss, which I had to separate the two to make sure she wasn't killing him. I could technically bait her into attacking the boss, but that doesn't really make me better at the game, so I'm going to avoid that at all cost. What? What? Fighting the Melania after this, I had a decently okay run against her. After making it halfway through the game, I've noticed that I'm actually starting to get her moves down a little bit. Punish with an L2. Okay. Ah, yes. Waterfowl. We'll get her before making it to Hallowed Tree. Just, just trust, okay? Just, just trust. Next up on the list is Gravity Gym Bro Radon, which only took me two attempts, which is, you know, that just feels so much better. I remember the first time I played this game and it took me three hours and I had a plus eight trusty fire claymore and a dream. Is boy how times have changed. Moose time, dead. With confidence restored in myself and some succulent huggies, it was time to do some quest lines to access Estelle and Fortisax. It was at this point I realized that there are very specific moments in Elden Ring where Miyazaki doesn't actually want you to spawn an unscaled Melania into your world. No, 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 I, I think we're in iframes. I think we're in iframes. No, no. Please be invincible. Please be invincible. Okay. Okay. Just, 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 just kill me. 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 Right here. Right here. Right here. Right here. <coughs> Come on. No. 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 Why am I at 115? What just happened? Heart rate. I. Why though? Why is it so high? Coughing. Coughing bumped it up over a hundred? Wait, why am I not dead? I'm not dead because I can't die here, technically. Because there's no attacking. Um, okay. Hacker man, he's the most powerful hacker of all time. We got a loading screen. Let's go. After getting myself unstuck and knocking down Fia's champ's hit list like the god gamer I am, it was time to fight the Nightmare Dragon Fortisax. But before that, something magical happened.
I'm him. I'm him. I, I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It, it, you know what? I'm him. I did it. Out of nowhere, a hitless Melania kill. I could feel myself getting more powerful. I was learning the fight and learning to keep a calm mindset doing it. This is what I wanted. I am feeling great. I am John fucking Elden Ring. Oh, and I killed Fortisex. Next boss on our remembrance list, Rykard. Before a quick one tap of Godskin Noble, I am once again on a high and ready to take on this gimmick boss. He's gonna be super free. I'm gonna make quick work of him. What? Why is he so much harder than I remember? Why can't I see my screen? Why is he a snake? Why does my dad not love me? <laughs> that was really sloppy. I'm dead. Yeah. Okay, I actually upgraded my shunter, which is something I never thought I'd have to do, and I'm kind of embarrassed by it. Uh, even Melania was trying to tell me no by almost killing him, but two tries after the weapon upgrade, it was Jover for the Mark Zuckerberg doppelganger. Next up, Mountaintops of the Giants. The strength was coursing through my veins and my Giga Turbo Gamer jeans kick in once again. The big challenge in Mountaintops, Fire Giant. My least favorite boss in the game. He's a giant damage sponge that rolls away anytime he suffers a little boo-boo. This boss is peak wiener energy, and given the duration of time it takes to beat him, I was bound to spawn several millennias. I was kind of worried about this road bl Oh, one tapped him. Live a wiener, die a wiener, I am the ultimate gamer. Before making our way to Faramazula, we have two of arguably the most painful bosses in the run accessed in Consecrated Snowfield. Moog, and of course, the bane of my existence and the woman I wish would step on me, Melania. But we're saving her for the end. After we slaughter an innocent old man, we kill Commander Nile and make quick work of him. F this boss, like Margit, is panic roll catching incarnate, my ultimate weakness. But coming off the success of the last two bosses, I was confident I would slap him up. Okay. Okay. I can't see. I was so wrong. This motherfucker is the worst possible thing to fight if you're trying to keep your heart rate low. Every time I got this child low, my heart rate would go over 90, and I would get sniped by the love of my life. But I'm gonna figure this out. I will do it. I will overcome. I got that dog in me. This stupid fuck underestimates my ability to bash my head against the wall over and over again. With enough deaths to become a full-blown sociopath, I reveal my trump card, my secret power, because when I die, over and over, my enemies start to underestimate me and think I'm not that strong, I'm not a threat. Then they expose their soft underbelly, and I strike them down as the true supreme being that sits atop the food chain. I won! I'm so happy. At this point, I'm a stone-cold killer, and nothing matters to me anymore. You can't take anything from a man who has nothing. Get one tap to Stell, you glass jaw piss ant. We are on the final stretch of the game, and the first major obstacle in Faramazula, Godskin Duo. Considered to be possibly the most frustrating boss in the game by many, there's a good chance I could be stuck here for a while, and adding Melania into the mix makes it a 3v1, so that's gonna be rough. Uh, oh, one tapped! I'm too fucking good, baby! Before we take on Melikef to finish Fair Missoula, we have the Dragon Lord himself, Placidisax. And I'm gonna be honest, before I even started this run, I was worried about this boss in particular. This boss, I think I have only fought one other time ever. I always skip this boss because much like Fire Giant, it's a giant damage sponge. Except this time, instead of rolling away, he can teleport and has several moves that can one-shot you. This will be another endurance match, and it's anything I've learned so far with this run. It's the fights I can't finish fast. She will come. Like any challenge run, you would think the boss fights are the hard part. The boss was not only difficult, but what I didn't foresee was the real battle was getting to him. Wait. Why didn't I... 
is there not a is there not a stake of America down there? It's been so long that I've fought this thing that I forgot there isn't a stake of America. Meaning I would have to take the elevator down and jump down the rock path every run just to make it to him. This exact moment was where I realized when I gave myself the rule that I can't enter a boss fight without having fought the Melania in my world was a terrible rule. Down beast! Down beast! Down beast! Yes! Yes! No! No! Are you kidding me? Ah, come on! Oh my god. This run back is going to not do well for my heart rate. As I was trying to relearn this dumbass, I would have half my attempts stopped because this woman would keep spawning, and on top of that, to add insult to injury, my voice program dictated that I was saying ass so I couldn't even say his name. I'm also not doing the type of uh, damage to Plassey that I kind of wish I was. I'll do a couple more tries. Dude. Plass- Oh! Be- uh, GG, I guess. But what? I can't say his name. His name is banned. The frustration of not even getting to him half the time and then dying to him quickly, even if I did get there, it was getting to me. I, I had literally had to stop talking to my chat and channel my inner fine dining and breathing just on the run back alone. I needed a new plan. Time to think outside the box just so I wouldn't be trapped in the endless death loop that is Placidus Axe. And you, one of the ways that you can kind of uh, negate this fight is the Crimson Whirl tier. It's off. Okay, I wasn't aware this thing was only eight seconds long, which yes, I'm not taking damage, but the stagger doesn't give me the big opening I thought it would give me. I have no other choice than to simply just get good. And so we did just that. Learning every move in the traditional way and with a couple close calls, we were getting closer. Fine dining, breathing. Fine dining, breathing. And eventually, we got the run. With five millennias spawned in the boss room, no less. So that sucked. Malik of time. Luckily he doesn't have a massive health pool and you can whittle him down relatively fast, so I wasn't too worried about Melania. But he's also a big ol' goofball of a boss, but regardless, 10 tries, tango down. Three Remembrance bosses left, Melania, Godfrey, and Radagon slash Elden Beast. It was time to face her. I have learned her fight almost perfectly at this point. I was ready. This was my moment, my magnum opus of get good, my final test. It was time. I have proven my worth against her at this point. Some of those kills were even hitless. To assert further dominance, I even challenged two of her to a fight on the infamous Hallow Tree Square. Squarers? <laughs> fight Melania on the square? Dude, I would crush her on the square, you kidding me? We're gonna have a fair square fight. Come on! <laughs> Yeah, this is my square. <laughs> oh no. Wait, she fall off? No, oh, she's still on! Dude, she's actually goaded on the square! Oh. <laughs> Noob! Yeah. <laughs> yeah, baby! The amalgamation of my journey finally reaching its climax. All right, chat, we've made it this far. We've killed a lot of Melania. Kind of only like five, but 
Oh, come on. I'm giving my victory speech, you ass. Woo, woo, woo. No! <laughs> Dang it. There is no boss in this game that I would say I know better at this point than Melania. Let's do this. Alright, I'm not perfect, but her phase one was easy mode. What I didn't account for with this run is every time I spawned Melania, she wouldn't enter phase two. So this whole time, I've only practiced phase one. And I thought to myself, well, her phase two is basically the same thing, just with a couple added moves, right? R wrong. Her window of opportunity is less frequent, and I was not super ready for that at all. All. I'm ashamed to say, shit was still a challenge. <laughs> Melania truly is Miyazaki's nightmare boss, and my continued failed attempts made me respect this boss, more despite having already fought her hundreds of times at this point. People ask me my favorite boss, and I get eye rolls when I say Melania. She's tough. She's abusive, unfair, cruel. She is just a great boss. Oh my gosh! Next oh! Time, the mark of a true lord. I just needed a little bit of practice with the phase two. That's all I needed. That took a lot longer than nice I thought cock. that was going to. <laughs> After toughing it out, we did it. Time to finally finish the run. Godfrey and Ratabeast. First up, we have Elden Boomer himself. Godfrey. Tarnished warrior. <laughs> Tarnished warrior. She took the kids in the divorce. <laughs> no! <laughs> it's wife! It. Tarnished warrior. The shampoo bottle said damage repair, but why am I still broken inside? <laughs> no. I am so pissed that mom and dad are both angry. Tarnished warrior, my daughter has bypassed the parental controls on the family computer and is looking up pictures of wolfmen. I do not know what team Jacob is on, oh, but I will crush him in ass. football. Just don't one shot KO me, that's all I- what? No, die! <laughs> Six tries, not too bad. The end is finally here. Radagon is another fight that I will be honest, I forgot how he works. <laughs> Oh, and of course, uh, Melania didn't make that uh, relearning session easier. No! No! Oh my god! That's a lot! No! After figuring out how to fight this Texas gun wielding native, I was starting to more consistently get to Elden Beast. It was only a matter of time. Oh my gosh, dude! I am fighting for my life out here. Do I have a glowstone or something? I do. I oh! Ah, oh, yeah! Yes! Yes! Gosh! I... Ugh, I got scared of the Melania that was approaching me. What? 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 Where? Where? I have, to get, I have to get away from them. I have to get away from them. They're hunting me. Yes! YES! Ugh! Fuck you, game! And fuck you, Melania. I did it. 
I beat the Melania run. My cussing did not improve, but I think my game skill did, and that's what makes challenge running sick. And you know what's also sick? Supporting this channel by hitting the subscribe button. I put a lot of time into this video, and I plan on making a lot more bangers for you beautiful people, so I hope you join me on this journey. And speaking of making the journey, maybe you could journey on over to my Twitch page and give me a follow and check out the action live. I got some banger ideas when the DLC drops. Can't wait for it. See you guys in the next one.